As news surrounding GoFirst's bankruptcy unfolded, shares of rival firms took flight at the bosses. Shares of Interglobe Aviation, the parent firm of Indigo, zoomed 8% in the intraday trade, while those of SpiceJet and Jet Airways rallied up to 6%. Analysts expect the aviation stocks to continue to climb in the near term, as the surprise bankruptcy filing by GoFirst is likely to lead to supply constraints in terms of total seats on offer across airlines. So I think that pure momentum plays because what happens in terms of both the regulator and what the government probably does, uh, I think it's going to be key. Because with uh, such scenarios probably coming in and with the airline season coming to the tourist season, as we call it, uh, for April and May as well, specifically for May as the season has just started, uh, I think any cancellations of this front might spur ticket prices for other airlines as well. Uh, so I think capping of prices, as I pointed out, I think is also going to be a key criteria here. If that probably happens, I think it just caps out the expected potential runaway gains uh, that existing players like India might have. Domestic airlines flew 13 million passengers in March 2023, up 21.4% year-on-year. Between January and March this year, domestic airlines carried 37.5 million passengers as opposed to 24.72 million during the same period last year. The recent developments with GoFirst and Lists Feel could boost the coffers of airlines over time amid relatively high passenger load, provided the aviation turbine fuel or ATF prices and other costs remain in check. Go first commanded a market share of approximately 89%. Okay, and uh, the suspension effectively means that uh, there is a supply crunch uh, in the industry, and obviously the existing players uh, will benefit out of it. Uh, be it Indigo or uh, any other operational players like Akasa, etc., Air India uh, uh, also might fall in that list. So. Uh, basically, yeah, uh, the other operators uh, can to benefit, especially in an environment where uh, the air goes are at sky uh, high level and uh, the occupancy levels uh, are upwards of about 70%. From the listed space, analysts prefer Indigo over SpiceJet due to the former's market leadership and strong balance sheet position. I think the only two respect from the are there. From a balance sheet perspective, which has survived those titles, uh, Indigo and Air India, I think that momentum probably stays with Indigo as a listed entity at this juncture uh, and probably might uh, for the rest of uh, this quarter and the next quarter as well, until we probably see firming up of plans happening and deliveries happening, both in terms of wet leases that other aircraft players can probably do, or resolutions happening on the existing prices. So with tailwinds acting in favor of it, yeah, I think the momentum for Indigo might vary well. In a nutshell, while short-term traders could scalp immediate gains, analysts suggest long-term investors continue to hold on to the stocks. On Thursday, markets will react to the US Fed's interest rate decision. Besides, Q4 results of Adani Enterprises, Dabur India, HDFC Hero Motor Corp, Tata Power and TVS Motor Company will be tracked by the markets. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.